Will the uh, Tesla battery help with bringing down the true up build? That's the number one question I have. Yeah, when you're doing this load shifting or arbitrage, that's what we refer to it. When you're taking these, like right now as we speak, it, this is we're not in the peak hours. We're prior to the peak hours. It's before three o'clock. We would normally be getting 30 something cents for a kilowatt hour. Instead of getting that credit, we're gonna store it in the battery we're going to wait until after 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, and we're going to push energy into the grid. You could actually push, like, up to 11 kilowatt hours in one hour, but I don't recommend you would use more than 10 every day because, again, you save a few just in case. But if it's 10 a day, essentially that's $3 every day. So when we say $3 times 300 days, it's $900 of credits that wow. you can accumulate for pushing energy into the grid in the peak hours instead of pushing it in the off peak hours. With those savings you just explained, that would definitely offset the true up bill. Yes, because you got 400 to PG&E, and if you got 400 to PG&E, that means you probably got another 150 to, with AVA, because AVA is the company that generates the energy, PG&E is the uh, company that delivers the energy, Altogether, you're, throughout the year, you probably paid $550. Understood. Big bad bear.